Roberto, welcome to Thingmaker. Um, so we have uh, basically reimagined Thingmaker, um, which is very iconic. Um, but now we're giving uh, families the tools that they need to design, print, and play with their own customized toys from beginning to end right at home. Um, so as you can see, we've got lots of different parts and pieces, various colors. We're working with a lot of uh, different colors as well as uh, different materials that we're going to be implementing into our system here. So here's an example of what we, uh, we might end up having down front. We've got some squishy plastic. We've got some that change color, uh, glow in the dark. This one will actually, going out into the sun under the UV rays, will change color as well. And then just a whole variety of colors. Um, and you can make anything from a scorpion to a knight, um, lots of different possibilities as well as some fun jewelry, rings, bracelets, uh, necklaces. And then over here we actually have our Thingmaker 3D printer uh, ecosystem. Um, so this has a couple of really great safety features. Uh, for one, the printer door stays locked until the printer has finished and until the printer head has retracted. That way, little fingers that get near it won't be able to touch those heated parts. Um, we've also got a um, filament system, um, which is how you load into the color. Very easy to use. And like I said, we're gonna have a whole variety of colors and different uh, materials. So this is our Thingmaker app. Now this is actually free and available today on both Google Play and the Apple App Store. Now when you open your app, you'll see that we have a whole variety of different characters to choose from that are pre-made for you. We also have jewelry options so you can make rings, bracelets, necklaces. But I'm going to walk you through our character uh, section today. So you see we've got samurais, dolls, dinosaurs, skeletons, we've got a whole variety. Um, so when we pick our character, it's going to show in the corner all of the pieces that we need to build it. So we basically just drag and drop those pieces into place. And if we don't want to build it ourselves, we can push the play button and let the app do it for us. We'll make that a little bit bigger and show you how we can even change out um, these characters. Head, for instance. Second. There we go. So we have a variety of different heads that we can use and choose from so we can really customize him. Now if we go over here we can customize even more with different colors. So we can choose to make certain parts one color, other parts another color and just really get as creative as we want to get. We can also uh, choose different textures for his armor if we want. We can go over here, have him move into different poses, which is really fun as well. And we can even add a background. So if we want our soldier here to fight in the great ruins, we can add some ancient ruins in the background. Now when we're done customizing, we can take a photo and we can save it to our camera, send it to our friends and share it that way. Or if we want to print it and actually make our toy, we hit the print button and as you can see, it will divide the colors automatically into batches. So it uh, prints basically one color at a time and it'll print all those pieces within that color. Now when you uh, do this at the bottom, you see that it has the time here. So this one all together will take 10 hours and 39 minutes to make and it's going to be 122 grams. When you're ready to print, you just push the print button and it sends to the 3D printer and you're all set.